I'm Kent Ono, a 24-year-old employee working for the renowned company Koiwa Corporation. I wonder why I was called. <gasps> Are they gonna praise me for landing a major contract or something? Excuse me. Wait again? How long do you think I have to wait? Huh? This person is Uzami, my boss and girlfriend. We started dating six months ago after her passionate approach. She's my first girlfriend, but... Hey, thanks for going through the trouble, man. Why, why are you with Uzami? This guy's Charao Yabasugi, a colleague who's good at socializing but hardly works. I'm not really comfortable around him. Ugh, you did something outrageous, didn't you? Huh? I heard everything from Charo. Apparently you snatched his contract away. I'm gonna report this to the department head. Uh, what? What? I, I didn't do anything like that. Well, you really didn't mean it, right? No, I didn't snatch anything. <laughs> Don't get all worked up like that. You really get on my nerves, even though you're a nerd, you know? Acting all high and mighty. And it's such a waste for a beauty like Uzami to be with you. What? Well, you know what they say. The nail that sticks out will be hammered down, right? In your face. <laughs> yeah, you! This is a good opportunity to say it. Let's break up. I decided to date Chano. No way! You're being deceived by this guy! Don't talk down on him! He's a kind person who always is there for me when I'm in trouble. Ugh. And I want you to leave my apartment right now! That's too sudden! It was your idea to move in together, wasn't it? I thought it'd be convenient if you did all the housework, but I was wrong. I shouldn't have been with someone like you. Uh, uh. But I really liked you, Uzami. Seriously? This guy's crying. Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh my god. You're really crying? <laughs> Afterward, I tried my best to prove my innocence, but Charao's manipulation seemed well prepared. <sighs> Why doesn't anyone believe me? This workplace is already... Due to feeling extremely uncomfortable, I decided to submit my resignation letter. And a few days later, with no place to live, I wandered between internet cafes. <sighs> I need to find a new place. No, maybe I should focus on finding a new job. Huh? Kent? Oh, boss. <laughs> what a coincidence running into you here. That's my line. This woman is Reina Maeda, a former client who is the impressive CEO of Tokisuku Company. I remember hearing that she's three years older than me. Then, we ended up having a deep conversation in an unexpected place, a dog cafe, and it was her request. Oh, so adorable. Fluffy. <laughs> she doesn't look like a former badass at all. Back in school, there were rumors that she used to be the legendary leader of the ladies' gang. Because of that, some of my former colleagues were afraid of her. But somehow, I was being treated quite well. I even scored some major contracts multiple times. Come to think of it, I didn't even properly say goodbye when I quit. I'm sorry about that. It's just that I suddenly had to leave the company. I see. Sounds tough. Yeah, well... Right now, I don't even have a place to live. All right, I get the deal. Come along. Huh? Go where? And then I was suddenly taken to... Um, where are we? Huh? It's my place. Huh? Hey, hey, this isn't good. You're single, right? Any problem with that? You're in a jam with no place to stay, aren't you? Uh, well, yeah, but... Surprisingly, she suggested that I live in her room. After further discussion, I ended up completely overwhelmed by her determination. I would be a burden for a while until I found a place. But there was a problem. I'm home. Just got back. Uh, welcome back. Mm, missed you, Kent. Were you lonely? Hey, hey, boss. Calm down. Hey, hey. There's no boss here. We promised to call each other by our names, right? 
Uh, Re Reina, stop it! No way, not gonna stop. She smells so good, and she keeps touching me. As you can see, after coming home, I always receive intense hugs. And what's more, Reina prepares all the meals. Mmm, this is good. <laughs> Don't mash, eat slowly. Good boy. Man, being petted feels good. No, that's not it. Um, since I'm freeloading here, can I help with some chores? Nope. Huh? Why? I've decided that I'll take care of you, Kent. You don't need to do any housework. What? What's the matter? You got a problem with that? N no, it's not like that, but... But what, huh? N nothing Forget it. Well, if that's the case, it's fine. Sorry for surprising you. Oh, good boy. Uh, I never expected Reyna to be like this. This is basically treating me like a dog. But I can't complain since I'm relying on her. And on our days off. We still gotta exercise, you know. Yeah, yeah. But why do we need to hold hands? Hmm? Because I'll be troubled if you run away, right? Uh, I won't run away. Her treatment may be like that, but when I look at Reyna again, she's really beautiful, isn't she? Huh? Uh, hey, you! What on earth are you doing? Pick up your trash and take it with you! Hey, hey! So sorry! I thought so, but she's definitely a former badass girl. And so, several weeks pass since I started living in Reyna's room. In the morning, I see Reyna off to work and eat lunch she prepared for me. Phew, I'm stuffed, but I feel sleepy. Nah, this is bad. I'm just a freeloader at this rate. If things continue like this, it's gonna be messed up. I need to talk to Reyna about it. And after Reyna came home, we need to talk. What's up? Why so serious? Reyna, I really appreciate your kindness, but I can't rely on you any further. I think it's about time for me to leave. What? Why would you say something like that? Are you bored while I'm away? Well then, here. I'll give you some pocket money. Uh, hold on a sec. There's no way I'm getting more pocket money, right? Why not? Hey, wait, don't you run away! Whoa, don't push me! Ah! Uh. Listen up. Don't you dare go anywhere, got it? I'll take care of you, darling. What? Ah! Uh, she's hugging me again. She's so soft. See? Isn't it nice? Ah! Uh, why are you doing this much for me? Uh, the truth is, I've always wanted to make you mine. Huh? Is that? Can't. You look just like my pet dog from back in the day. That little one has already passed away, but... So I was treated like a dog after all. I'll make you happy no matter what. So let's live together, okay? Uh, don't pamper me like this anymore. Come on! In the end, we couldn't dissolve our cohabitation. However, after somehow fending off Reyna's temptation and persuading her, she allowed me to work again. And as for my new job? This is Kent Ono, who will be working in the strategic management department from today. I'll do my best not to drag everyone down. Nice to meet you all. Hey, Reyna. Hmm? What's up? I didn't hear anything about the strategic management department. Such an important job. I can't possibly... Oh, if that's the case, no worries. I'll personally guide you through the work. What? <laughs> this way we'll be together all the time you've been doing work. You can rely on me as much as you want, okay? I I won't rely on you. And uh, that's clearly an abuse of power. Just consider it taking your previous work experience into account. Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm the CEO after all, you know. Uh, well, Reyna does take her work seriously. I have to work hard now. Even though I feel like I'm going too far, after a month of living together, I'm completely starting to fall for Reyna. I have to become independent soon and earn her recognition. I don't want to be treated like a pet forever. Alright, I'll do my best.
And like that, I was all fired up. But, hey, you're too close. Huh? Can't teach you unless we're close, right? Ugh, she's still so soft. Wait, this is the same pattern as always. What's wrong, Kent? Your cheeks are all red. Ugh, whose fault is that? And after coming home. You did well, Kent. Your work today was quite something. Really? Yes. Indeed, she's truly an outstanding CEO. Reyna properly assesses the work of each employee and praises them when they do well. Good boy, that's my Kent. As expected, you're on point. Can I count on you from now on? Oh, yeah, leave it to me. I'll give it my all. Uh, wait, I'm still being treated like a dog. Thanks to Reyna's carrot and stick guidance, by around three months into my employment, I was able to handle tasks that match my job title. Then, one day. Excuse me, um, what did you want to talk about? Uh, sorry for calling you even though you're busy. Oh, no. The thing is, I want you to be in charge of the joint project with Koiwa Corporation. Huh? Me? And it's with Koiwa Corporation. You know Koiwa Corporation inside and out, right? So you're the perfect fit. Reina only knows that I voluntarily left my previous job. So of course she doesn't know about Uzami and Charao. I'd rather not get involved with Koiwa Corporation again. But if this project goes well, maybe Reina will finally recognize me. Got it. I'll do it. I knew you'd say that, Kent. I'm counting on you. And so, I became the project lead for the joint project. And the person introduced to me as a counterpart from the other company was... No way! Kent actually works here? <laughs> Can we trust you as the person in charge? I'm a bit worried now. Uzami, and even Charao! After that, I visited my previous company multiple times. We had several meetings, but the work wasn't progressing at all. Has the check-in work I requested been completed? Huh? Did you tell me to do that? I don't remember at all. Yeah, I did. We agreed to double-check each other's work to avoid mistakes. Without your confirmation, our work can't move forward. There you go again, all fired up for nothing. Don't you realize how uncool that is? What's wrong with being fired up? This is a crucial project that determines the future of our company. You're working at a startup, Kent. It's got nothing to do with us big shots. <laughs> Say what? Hey, if you're so motivated, just handle it yourself. We're going on a date now. Later. Hey, wait up. You can't do that. Chato, where are you taking me today? To an awesome place. <laughs> a what? Oh my god. Man, what's up with those two? Wait, with the way things are going, something might happen. With a bad feeling, I decided to prepare on my own, ensuring that the project wouldn't fail. And when the project was nearing completion, a critical mistake in the order placement was discovered. The question of who would bear the losses, Koiwa Corporation or Tokisuku Company, was brought up for discussion. I'm sorry to say this, but your company will be fully responsible for the losses. <sighs> What? Why is that? Besides, Charao was the one who placed the order. It's evident from the order history, right? However, your approval stamp is clearly on this order form. Wasn't this order given under your instructions? Seriously? I absolutely don't remember anything about this order form. Moreover, we didn't make any such request. Then, what about the approval stamp? Of course, I didn't approve it. Wait, could it be... Hmm, what is it? Shut out! You used my approval stamp without permission, didn't you? Huh? Why are you suddenly accusing me? Remember when Uzami wasn't feeling well and I took her to the infirmary? It must have been then! Dude, drop the baseless accusations, will you? Are you trying to bother me again? Exactly! You already stole Chato's credit before! You never learned, do you? Ah, uh, Who's the one who never learns? Hey, listen up. I made sure to email all the data reports along with the invoices generated on that day directly to our boss's inbox. Huh? So what? 
If you follow the workflow, you'd know everything by checking those emails. What? Most likely, you realized you forgot to place the order and rushed to do it later. Ugh. As a result, you made a wrong order, am I right? And then, to cover up your excuse, you sneaked the purchase order into the pile of invoices using my approval stamp. How's that? What? I haven't heard anything of that. If that's the case, it's a serious violation of the contract. W wait He's just making stuff up, isn't he? There's no evidence or anything. Well, here's a little secret. Back in the day, I used to be quite a wild one, and one of my girls is working at your company. Huh? What are you talking about? That has nothing to do with this. Chato, I've received all the reports about what you've done from her. What? I can't believe. Yeah, looks like it's just as our boy Kent here speculated. Oh, and we've got perfect pictures of you taking out the approval stamp, too. Th that? This can't be. Oh, and also, you're the one who caused Kent to resign. Ain't that right? Oh, uh, well, well. Apologize to Kent. Wh why me? I said apologize. Hmm? Eh, sorry, sorry. And so, Chadao admitted his guilt without hesitation. Of course, Koiwa Corporation had to bear the full losses. After the meeting. Reina, you're amazing. Huh? What do you mean? You already knew it was their mistake from the start. Man, I can't compete with you, Reina. What are you saying? I could only notice it because you reported it faithfully. <laughs> you're great. Uh huh? There's something I've wanted to tell you for a long time, Reina. Huh? What is it? I'm really grateful to you, Reina. I was so happy when you got angry on my behalf earlier. Okay. I... I like you, Reina. I mean, I'm still far from being good enough, but I'll work hard to make you happy. So, will you go out with me? Jeez, took you long enough. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting for those words? Yeah, sorry for making you wait. I like you too, Kent. Of course, as a man, you know? Reyna, you can't believe how happy I am. And so, we successfully became a couple, and our colleagues celebrated for us. Congratulations, boss! You two make a great pair! Wait, you guys weren't dating already? Jeez, Reyna, you're so pure and innocent. Sh shut up! It's not a big deal, all right? <laughs> Reyna is really adored, huh? According to the grapevine, it seems that Chadao's misdeeds were all exposed after the last incident. As a result, he was forced to resign, and he got brutally rejected by Uzami as well. By the way, she tried to contact me afterward, but I've already blocked her. Just like Chadao, her bad personality got exposed, and now she's living a cramped, everyday life. By the way, I'm still staying at Reyna's place. Now, we even got a dog. Yeah, good boy. You're so cute, aren't ya? Mm. You promised to make me happy, right? Show me more love, too. Whoa, whoa! I think I managed to move on from being treated like a pet. But in exchange, my girlfriend has become quite a spoiled one. I'll make sure to shower her with affection to avoid any jealousy. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.